Hi everyone! Microsoft Teams Breakout Rooms is a very fantastic feature that cover many scenarios. Microsoft in these days is rolling out two additional features. The first one allows you to create breakout rooms before the meeting starts. That means that you can create your breakout rooms and assign participants to every room. Additionally, and moreover, you have the ability to nominate another presenter. This presenter can help you as a manager to build up breakout rooms. Ok, let's jump on my PC and I show you every step. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I just created a meeting for tomorrow, Teams Breakout Rooms Pre-Meeting Experience. Double click on it and now I have a new tab available here next to Details, Chats, Scheduling Assistant, Attendance, Breakout Rooms. Here we go. I have all my participants here and clicking on Breakout Rooms I'm able to set up every room before the meeting starts. I am now in the Breakout Rooms tab. First thing to do is click on the button Create Rooms in order to start the setup of every room. I will create in my case three rooms, then I will click Add Rooms. Now I can see a preview, I have three rooms, room 1, 2 and 3, and then I have participants. That means that I can edit this first room and start to assign the right name. This would be Venus, save. Ok, let's move to the second one and this would be Jupiter, save. Finally, let's move on the last which is room 3 and would be Mars. Save. Now clicking on the three dots here, I have the settings option available here. I will switch now on the browser because I already opened this link. This is the setting for the room Venus. This, that means that I can define every setup for this room. I can do the same for every room, of course. Now it's time to assign participants to every room. So I can click on the button Assign Participants. I can do automatically or manually. I will follow the automatically option. And now Teams is assigning every participant to every room. I have 6 participants in Venus, 6 in Jupiter and 5 in Mars. Now to see which participants are in which room, you have to click on the button Assign Participants again. This opens this panel and here you can see all list of all participants and there is an extra column here with room and you can even unassign every participant to the room or you can just reassign the user to another room. Ok, we are ready now to join this meeting. And here I am in the meeting. Let me click on the button Breakout Rooms in order to open the panel. Here I have all three rooms available. I have all participants already in the room. And now I'll show you a new feature. Clicking here on the wheel icon I am able to display this new functionality, assign presenters to manage room. So that means that turning on this option, I am now able to assign presenter to every room. So these people will be responsible to manage his or her room. In this case, Adele Evans, I will select, then Ligu, and the last one is Sandra. Here we go. Now, every presenter can manage and set the right option for every room. Or you can just select one person and this will be your supporter, your collaborator in order to set up every room. Alright, in this video we have seen the pre-meeting experience in Microsoft Teams breakout rooms. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.